Hi, this is Judy Swigert. I'm the superintendent here at Greater Latrobe. It is July and many people believe that um, public schools in July are not up and working, but I can assure you that we are. There's plenty of things that go on in school districts in the summer, many obviously behind the scenes types of things that you would not be aware of, um, but they are integral to the success of our programs when our students come back in the fall. Um, and obviously one of those is um, making sure that our staff is complete for the beginning of the school year. Uh, this year at Greater Latrobe, we had 15 teachers retire K-12, to and all of those teachers have been replaced. And so the process of hiring um, is rigorous and it takes a lot of time, um, obviously time very well um, spent. Um, but this month at the board meeting, uh, the board did um, approve some recommendations from the administration. Uh, there were 10 hires this year, or this month, excuse me. And if you look back in June and May, we did hire um, physical education and nurses and so on in the past months. Um, moving forward from this date, we look at our classroom assistants and other positions in the district um, that we also know we have to review and probably hire some people for those positions. So it really um, takes uh, much time in the summer to do that process. In addition, the building principals are working very, very hard at getting the buildings ready, schedules ready for students, um, so that we can send out those schedules to all the parents um, so they can see the teachers that they have and the classes that their children have been enrolled in. So we're anxious um, and excited about the start of school in August. Um, but we also know that it's going to be here before we know it. Next week, um, we have our Steeler event at Memorial Stadium. It is a uh, wonderful opportunity uh, for the City of Latrobe to um, invite uh, people from actually all over the country, and I know that's, to me, sometimes hard to believe, um, people into the City of Latrobe to um, witness a Steeler practice and to have an opportunity to get autographs and those kinds of things. And truly it is um, because of the desire of the Steelers um, to have that experience here at Memorial Stadium. And we know that we're very blessed to have that relationship. Um, as you are aware, uh, the City of Latrobe last year and are doing again this year Steeler Fest. So there will be activities during the day prior to the actual Steeler event at Memorial Stadium. We encourage everyone to come downtown um, to have some fun. Um, as the city would tell you, it is very much a family-friendly event, um, as well as then stay for the Steeler event and um, the subsequent fireworks that occur um, at the stadium. So that's an exciting thing. Um, and lastly, um, I will briefly mention the athletic wellness complex um, at the senior and junior high school. Um, I think most people are aware, having read the newspapers, um, and hearing um, various conversations. Um, it is underway and actually we are hoping that the one field will be ready for practice August 12th. I know that seems um, not to be very far away and for me to say hopefully you may question why, but with weather and other things that occur when you're doing a project of this size, um, that is our target date, um, but we can't guarantee until we actually see it. Uh, the completion of the entire project at the Senior Junior High Wellness Athletic Complex is scheduled for December of this year. Um, we're hoping that it occurs previous to that, but that is the um, technically the completion date for everything. Um, the August 12th date is really only the completion of the one field. As you're aware, uh, the Greater Latrobe Partners in Education Foundation um, recently granted the district a grant of over $200,000 to install Promethean boards, which is an interactive uh, whiteboard in every junior high classroom. This is an initiative that the district um, started a few years ago in our elementary buildings, and um, the gift has really, uh, the grant has really uh, allowed us to move forward far more quickly than we might have been able to without it. Uh, the Promethean boards are actually being installed as I sit here today and um, they will be um, obviously ready for the beginning of school year, but in addition, many of our teachers are coming in for some training next week, starting next week, um, so that when they start the school year, they will have training to use those boards immediately. Um, so that's a, a wonderful, um, exciting piece. 
that is part, that purchase and that grant of those Promethean Interactive Boards um, is part of our A-plus campaign, um, which is a campaign which some of you um, may have heard of, um, run through the foundation, um, maybe not run through, but run by the foundation to help support uh, the A-plus campaign, which is inclusive of the Athletic Wellness Complex, the Global Classroom Initiative, which the Promethean Boards are a piece of, and a third piece that we are hoping will be done next summer, which we know will be done next summer, which is um, the Junior High Initiative, which is to um, uh, take the long hallway, as I call it, in the junior high, and make it an area to display um, student art, original art, and some various instructional areas. So it really is an exciting piece for the junior high school. All of those are just some of the things that are going on here at Greater Latrobe. Um, we appreciate all of the support and um, please uh, look forward to the next Times that will be coming out, the Times, the um, Parks and Rec magazine with some other issues or with their events and so on. All of the new staff will be introduced in there, the teachers that I was referencing, to give you an idea of their backgrounds and um, uh, their history educationally as well as professionally. So thank you very much. Um, hopefully we all see you next week at uh, the Steeler event. Thank you.